Good morning, good morning folks. How are you today? This is your sincerely Ifem Azaka, your language performer. We will be presenting to you today children's edition, courtesy of Ndokwa Association United Kingdom, Nayuk, London 2. So please join us. Let's learn Okwane together, the Okwane style. Thank you. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. How are you? We are fine, thank you. We are fine, thank you. We are fine, thank you. So, today we are here to study the Okwane language, to learn the Okwane language okay and you can move open it kete unena no why you the baby though before we start i'm going to introduce myself to you all okay now my name is miss ifem azaka and i would also like to know your names efambo ifem azaka now I would like you to introduce yourselves to me by telling me your names, okay? Okay. <laughs> Now, so, like I earlier said, we will be learning uh, some things in Okwane language. We're going to start with numbers. Say numbers. 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 Then what is numbers called in Okwane language? Numbers are called onwogo. Kushi onwogo. Onwogo. Say onwogo. Onwogo. Numbers. Numbers. In English. In English, that's what it's called, okay? And then in Okwane, it's called Onwago. 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 Good. Thank you. Now, today we're going to learn numbers 1 to 10. Numbers what? 1 to 10 in Okwane language. Okay? Numbers 1 to 10 in Okwane language. Good. Now, let's start from number 1. 1. 1. one. One. In Okwane, it is called Ofu, 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 Ofu. Good. Now let's progress. Two. 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 Ebo, 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 Ebo. Three. Three. Number three. Number three. Eto, 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 Eto. Four. Four. Eno, Eno. Five. Five. Ise. Ise. Six. 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 Ishi. Ishi. Seven. Seven. Esa. Esa. Eight. Eight. Esato. Esato. Nine. Nine. Iteneni. Iteneni. Nine. Nine. Iteneni. Iteneni. Ten. Ten. Iri. That. Yes. Now we're gonna do something in a way that you will um, enjoy it more. Okay. Now join me. One o fu. One o fu. Two e bo. Two e bo. Three e to. Three e to. Four e no. Four e no. Five e se. Five e se. Six e she. Six e she. Seven e sa. Seven, Esa. Eight, 
Esato. Esato. Nine iteneni. Nine iteneni. Ten iri. Ten iri. Aya. One o. Okay, let's start. Aya. Mhm. One o fu. One o fu. Two ebo. Two ebo. Three eto. Three eto. Four eno. Four eno. Five ise. Five ise. Six ishi. Six ishi. Seven esa. Seven esa. Eight esato. Eight esato. Nine iteneni. Nine iteneni. Ten iri. Ten iri. I hope you're enjoying it. Yes. Good. So those are numbers in English and in Okwane language. Numbers one to ten. Ofu, she no fu belu iri. She no fu belu ne iri. Okay. Okay, now let's do something. Hold this. Panyin, raise it up. That's how many? One. One. Eh? One. One. Can you get oh, oh. Food? Hmm? One bottle. One bottle. One bottle. One bottle. Oh, four go. Oh, four go. Can you go, go? This is or go in Okwane language. Hmm? One bottle. One bottle. Oh, four go. Oh, four go. <laughs> now, can you look at? Ebo. Onet nebeni. Ebo. How many do we have here? Two. two. And two is Ebo. And this is tick. Have we? Yes. Mbo. Yeah. Mm? Yes. Mbo. Mbo kya dunne? Ebo. How many sticks do I have here? Two. two. Good. So that's how it goes on and on and on. What am I holding? Books. books. These are books, right? Yes. yes. How many books? Three. Three. Now, books in Okwane. Ekukwo. 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 Ekukwo nekwinji. Eto. Three. Eto. Right? Yes. One. Two, three. That's what? Eto. Three books. Ekukwo. Eto. Good. Have them. These are what? Papers. These are papers. Piece of papers. Piece of papers in Okwane is called Ibe Koko. Okay? Ibe Koko. That is what? Piece of paper. Ibe Koko. Ibe Koko. Now I have how many? One, two, three, four. Now this four in Okwane language is what? And no. And no. Four pieces of papers. Good. So that's how it goes on and on and on and then you have them. Fine. I also have them. So this year, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. How many leaves do I have here? Five. Five in Okwane language means Ise. Ise. Leaves, dry leaves in Okwane language means ekukwo bongo. And I have how many here? Five dry leaves. Good. Thank you. Now let's go back to the books. We're counting six, right? Yes. Then I have six books. How many? One, One two, three, four, five, six. Epukone ishi. Epukone ishi. Six books. Epukwo ishi. So books in Okwane language are called epukwo. And six in number is called what? Ishi. Very good. If I add one to these books, it will become seven. Seven books. And seven in Okwane language is what? Esa. Again? Esa. Epukwo esa. Have you? Yes. Ekukwo Esa. Seven books. Ekukwo Esa. And then I have what? Eight. Eight. Plus one is what? Eight. eight. What is eight in Okwane? Esato. Esato. Eight books. Okay? Eight books. Ekukwo Esato. Ekukwo Esato. Very good. And then... I'm adding one more. It becomes how many? Nine. Nine. How many books? Nine. Nine, Nine books in Okwane language becomes? Iteneni. Iteneni. 
and then the last one making it uh, becomes what? Ili. Ekukwo. Ili. Ten books. So it's easy now, right? Yeah. Now, can you read for me? One. Ofu. Two. Ebo. Three. Eto. Four. Eno. Five. Ise. Six. Ishi. Seven. Esa. Eight. Esa. Nine. Ite. Nani. Ten. Ili. Wow, clap for yourself. Very good. Thank you so much. So now, let's go to the next topic. Hmm? The next topic. General greetings. General General greetings in Okwani language. Okay? So we're doing general greetings. Say general greetings. General greetings. Good. General greetings. That is in English. Hmm? General greetings. Greetings means ikene kene. Okay? Or kene. Hmm? We want to learn how we greet with Okwani language. Okay? Now, we have different greetings for um, male, female, uh, elderly, that's older women, older men, younger girls, younger... First one there. You have to go Hmm? Now, for English. You have to Where we have Okwane, we have uh, Ajay. Can you Ajay. 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 Ajay is for all men. Hmm? All men. You're, when you see an Okwane man, when you see an Okwane man, you greet him what? Ajay. An Okwane man, not a child, though. A man, a grown up man, you greet him Ajay. And then there's also a elderly man or elderly men. Okay? For elderly men, you greet Ajay Nam. Hmm? Can you call it? Ajenam. 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 Or in when you get kushi, you can say, okay, Ajay. All right? Okay, Ajay. Okay, Ajay. Ajenam. Ajenam. That's for elderly men. All right? For all women, all grown up women, you greet them, Otofe. Hmm? Otofe. 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 That's for all women. But then there's a greeting for elderly women. The Otofe Nim. Otofe Nim. Otofe Nim. Otofe Nim. Okay? So that name gives, it the, gives them that respect as, you know, as our elders. Okay? Otofe name, but if you see a younger woman, you can say Otofe. It's also a greeting in the Kwani language. So your mom, your aunt, your your someone that is older than you, your grandmom, and you can greet them Otofe name. And then your dad, your uncle, your you know you can greet them Ajay Nam. Hmm. And for an older man, what do you greet? Ajenam. And for an older woman, what do you greet? Ajenam. Otofenim. Otofenim. And then for a younger man, what do you greet? Ajay. Mm -hmm. As in all men, you just see them, you greet Ajay. And then for all women, you greet them Otofe. Good. And now for young females, like someone my age, hmm? you can greet me or worse. Okay? For young females, what do you greet? Oweso. 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 For young females, you greet Oweso. Not Otofe. Somebody about my age should be greeted Oweso. Very good. Young man. For a young man, you greet what? Oduri. Can you it? Oduri. For a Okay, now for young females, like me, a younger female, you greet a wesu. Say a wesu. A wesu. A wesu. A wesu. A wesu. A wesu. For young females. And then for young male, okay? For your young male, maybe your uncle in school, your younger teachers and all, or your uncle at home, you can greet Oduri. 
For young males, you greet Odulie. Kusho Odulie. Odulie. Say Odulie. Odulie. Because that's what you greet for young men. And then, that's that for people. Now let's go to this other greeting like good morning, good afternoon, good evening, okay? Have you, how are you doing? Have you eaten? Good night. Let's do that today. Now, in the morning, in English, what do you greet? Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. But there's a way we greet in Okwane language, okay? Okwane language, you greet Ototoma. Ototoma. Good morning, Okwane language is Ototoma. Ototoma. Say it again. Ototoma. What is good morning in Okwane language? Ototoma. Good. Good afternoon, we greet Efifioma. 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 Good afternoon in Okwane language is what? Efifioma. Very good, that's perfect. Good evening in Okwane language is Enyashioma. Enyashioma. Enyashi means evening, okay? Good means on my man in my former. Alright? Good. So now, Enyashio, Oma. Ututuoma. Ututuoma. That's what? Good morning. Good. Efifioma. Efifioma. That's what? Afternoon. That's what? Good afternoon. Very good. Enyashioma. Enyashioma. Is what? Good evening. Very good. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ototoma, just like you pretend when I came to the class this morning, right? Yes. If you're a soon, it will be afternoon. And then if you want to greet in Okwane language, say, Nime if you're a mao, you know? If you're a if you're a And then in the evening, you greet Enyashe Oma. I hope you're enjoying the class. Yes. Good. If you're enjoying the class, clap for me. <laughs> All right, let's continue. And now, there's also um, um, another way for greeting good morning. Another way for greeting good morning. Onwabogo. Onwabogo. So if you don't want to say ututwoma, you can say onwabogo. Onwabogo. Onke busasha nnem ya bogo. Delo mo yo onwabogo. Okay? Very good. Then, you can also say unwede shigo. Unweteshigo. can also mean good morning. Unweteshigo. Unweteshigo. Very good. Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Now, if you want to ask someone in Okwane language if the person, if he or she has eaten, have you eaten? You can say unweligo. Unweligo. Yeligo. Yeligo. Unweligo. 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 In English it means have you eaten. Eating. So if you want to ask your mom, your dad, or your family members, Unweligo. 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 Mom, dad, have you eaten? Okay? Good. I hope you're enjoying the class. Yes. yes. Good. And now, the last one for today is good night. Good night in Okwane language means kobo. 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 Good night. Kobo. 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 Or in many cases, kachifo. 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 Good night. Kobo. Good night. Kobo. Kachifo. Kachifo. So either ways, you know. It depends on which one you want to use. Now let's start again. Greetings for all men. You have Ajay. Ajay. For elderly men, you have Ajenam. Ajenam. For all women, you have Otofe. Otofe. Greeting an elderly woman or elderly women, you have Otofe name. Otofe. Things for young female, you have um, Oweso. Oh, yes. I said for elderly women, you have Otofe name. Mm -hmm. But if you see a woman, you know, macho woman, you greet Otofe. For elderly women, you have Otofe name. <laughs> for younger females, you have Oweso. Okay? Kankuni. Oweso. And then for younger males, you have Odulie. 
Oduli. Oduli. Very good. And then if you want to greet someone maybe in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and all, you have for good morning, you have what? Otutuoma. Very good. Otutuoma. Say it again. Otutuoma. Good. And then for afternoon, when you want to say good afternoon, in Okwane, how do you say it? Efifioma. Again? Efifioma. Very good. And then if you want to say good evening in Okwane language, what do you say? Enyashioma. Good. Then what's another way for saying good morning in Okwane language? Onuabogo. Onuabogo. Eh? It's as if you are asking your neighbor. Good morning. Mm -hmm. And then another way of saying it again. Good. That uneteshigo can also mean, are you awake? You know, are you awake? Uneteshigo. Good morning. You're awake. Mm. And then you have, have you eaten? And then if you want to ask someone, have you eaten? How do you say it? Eh? Have you eaten? Yes, yes we have eaten. Very good. And then if you want to say good night, how do you say it? Again? Kobo. Good night in the Kwani language means Kobo. Kobke. Kechifu. So, in each other, if you don't want to use Kobo, you can use Kechifu. Kechifu. Kobo. Good night. So, fine. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Yes. This is Kwani language. Kwani language is very sweet. Very sweet to, to speak and sweet to listen to. And now, let's, um, children, would you like to play? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Um, I would like to sing a song for you in Okwane language. Mm -hmm. So now, I hope you enjoyed this class. Yes. I want us to play. Would you like to play? Yes. You know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So I want us to play. We want to play with what we have learned today, okay? Play no kwane means igwegu. Can igwegu? Oh? Namashi me igwegu igwe. Eh? Can igwegu? Would you like to play? Yes. Would you join me in this play? Yes. Good. I'm going to sing a song for you. I am going to sing a song for you. A song, but in Okwani language. We call it Okwani rhymes. Yeah. Just like you have your English rhymes, we have our Okwani rhymes. But this is just the tip, tip of the iceberg. Okay. Let's start. We did numbers, right? Numbers one to ten. Mm? Good. We learned numbers, right? Yeah. So while I'm singing, you chorus with me, okay? Yes. Just listen. I'm going to use the numbers that we have learned, not in English, but in Okwane language to sing the song, okay? Yes. The number of persons that come out, you now say it in Okwane language while I sing the song. Now, I'm the first person here. I'm going to, I want to start with myself. Okay? Until we got to ten. 
and even more than 10. Seven. Now let's go back to your sis. Go back to your sis, let's look at you. When you got to work, let's do it line by line, okay? Look at the back to back. Oh, food, I am. It's my name, 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 I am. It's my this class. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Do you love me? Yes. Good. Ben and you. Oh, good class. Get it out. So I won't know if I need it. Get on the card. Get on the card. Oh, you're good. 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 And we have we have learned some things in the Okwane today, and there are people that made it possible. Okay, they are Ndukwa Association United Kingdom, Nayuk London too. What would you have to say to Nayuk London too? Thank you, Nayuk London too. Much Ndokwa, thank you so much, Ndokwa Association UK, Nayuk London, too. They made this uh, today's lecture with the kids possible because they want to make the Okwane language a household language, not just in Nigeria but to the world. Watch out, more is coming. We have so many more to present to you people. So please keep supporting us. Keep supporting Ndukwa Nyoma. It is Ndukwa Okwani to the world. Now you planned on to. God bless you so much. May God keep um, giving you the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, <laughs> and the love better than you. <laughs> You're sincerely signing out now. Ifim Azaka. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.